talking about stress, mate, what do you feel is the biggest stress that you were under living in Dubai with three kids, with the life that you had here? What's the biggest stress that's been removed? It's a great question. And I mean, we've talked about this quite a few times, but it almost feels like, I mean, honestly, mate, I, I feel like I can breathe. <laughs> <laughs> like it's whatever you want to call it. And, you know, you can classify it any way you want. Yeah. You jumped off the, the, the Ferris wheel. You, everyone took a left. You took a right. <laughs> you know, everyone's zigging. I'm zagging. But it, there's a, yeah, there's a, there's a way of, there's a freedom to it. Yeah. I, I think it's, uh, it's allowing you to step back, become a bit more uh, aware of who you are. Like, I mean, you know me, mm. like a lot of my thing is, especially the last five years, it's, it's quite focused on, okay, where, where's this going? Yeah. You yeah. know, what's my, what's my purpose? Yes. Where am I heading with this? Like. And it's it's more it's becoming more and more about okay now I'm reali realizing it's less about me and it's more about the the people that I'm impacting around me and obviously my family is my most immediate um, slight technical hitch there with the camera on the dashboard we actually overheated so we've had a little bit of break but we're back we're talking about the biggest stress that was released and we won't go back into that one mate. I want to come to what is now your biggest stressor. What do you worry about? Do you, I mean, you, you're not someone who stays awake at night worrying about stuff, I know, but what, what is stressful for, for you and Danny now? Oh God. Um, <laughs> I lit, I, you know, if I said something like I sleep completely, you know, every night, like with no, People will be like, no, that's not possible. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, I can say that because I've done so much work on yeah. myself and I'm quite um, clear in terms of where I'm heading with this stuff, yeah. that I don't look at the worries, like anxious and all that stuff. That's always going to be there Yeah. because we're, it's human nature. It's part of our makeup. But I think what I'm starting to do is, is that I'm not looking at it as a, at a, as a hindrance. I'm actually looking at it as a, just another opportunity, opportunity yeah. or just a, another obstacle that is actually enhancing the way I look at life. Yeah. So if something does stress me or if something does worry me, I look at it very independently now, yeah. almost like an observer. And I'm like, okay, hold on a second. What actually is making me anxious? Yeah. Right? What is it? And now, is it something that I've thought about because of the way I used to think? Yeah. But now if I step back and I look at it completely from a, uh, you know, independent point of view, is it really that? So just that flexibility in my mindset, which obviously I've worked on a lot, as yeah. you know, you know, the reawakening was a core component of that. I think it's, it's giving me another way of looking at things. So look, I mean, I'll give you an easy example. We're, we've been traveling, right? Mm. Travel has its own stress. For sure. And if, especially when you're traveling with kids, <laughs> it's, that's its own uh, animal. And I've noticed myself like through airports and we've done everything. Like we did, we went through Africa, Southern Africa. So we did literally uh, planes, boats, trains, everything, the works. <laughs> and the kids are there as well. There's, you know, border control, poor, you're in Africa, you're with kids, your wife, all that stuff. But then I think if, if I'd done this before this mindset change, mm. I would have been completely stressed out. Right. And maybe it would have been, cut the trip short. And But, but now I was all, almost sitting back observing. Yeah. I could see my wife stressing. <laughs> so now I was like, okay, I need to keep that under control. Yeah. So obviously that was an, another incentive for me to, you know, bring the temperature down. Um, but because of my approach to it was so different, 
And because I could repackage it, because I was like, look, this is a part of a bigger thing because we're doing this lifestyle thing and we're going to try something different. It actually takes away a lot of the conventional, you know, stress triggers mm. and you start el eliminating them and you were like, well, for one thing, this is just part of the journey mm. and it's going to happen. So there's no point in, you know, worrying about it. Yeah. But then you, when you start observing your mind and seeing where it's being triggered, and then you almost step back and be like, wait, I'm not going to be triggered by that. Yeah. Right. You're, you're standing in line for something. Nothing right now is going to change that. <laughs> but that's, that's like you said though, mate, that's you, you have worked on yourself and you can go through that process. But a lot of people, no matter what you tell them, they still like people, it's, it's the same at traffic lights, right? People will just beat the horn. Like they, they okay. just stressed about that. And it's like, where are you actually, one of the best examples in, 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 it's not just in Dubai, but in a number of countries, it's like taxi drivers, like they beat the horn, but they, they're probably working for 12 hours. Now, I know you could say that if they do more fares within those 12 hours, they'll make more money. So they actually need to go faster. But essentially, they, they don't really have a big rush, but they're programmed to not be patient. They're programmed to beat the horn. And it's deprogramming of that programming that people need to, to go through. Because like you said, you go to Africa, uh, no matter what border you're at, Obviously, air, airports, if it's a big international airport, it's a little bit easier to pass through in, in a shorter time frame. But as you get more remote, you, <laughs> your time and the systems that they have in place just become irrelevant, really. Totally. And I think, I mean, we've talked about this before. Like, if you almost, after a while, if you want to change your mindset, you've got to put yourself in a situation to experiment with that, right? Yeah. And experience that. And then be like, okay. And Africa is actually, yeah, I don't think it was by coincidence that we ended, that our first lecture was Africa. Yeah. Because it's a great, a great testing uh, place for all of this stuff, right? Yeah. And then you see people over there who've got a completely different mindset, yeah. right? And then you start to see, okay, what's different with them? Yeah. You know, how they're adapting and how is it? And I mean, one of the things we were lucky enough to, we, were, we took a train which in itself, in Africa, you, people would be like, are you nuts? Yeah. But it was quite liberating in a way because it was at a different, you are on the train schedule. Yes. You're going through Africa, you know, and there you're going to be, there are going to be stops. Like it was, this was like a special train. So it didn't have, it had specific stops, but there were times during the night where it still had to stop at train stations because that's just how it worked. Mm. And, you know, it was going at its own pace. And if there's, and there were, pe there were people on that train who just could not handle it. Really? And they were like, what, why are we waiting? Why are we st like, and you could see that, you know, that, uh, it was so interesting. Like you've put yourself in a position to experience something. Yeah. But you're fighting it. Well, now that you, the experience is there, you're fighting it. That's correct. And you're not actually accepting the fact that, look, this is part of the experience. Yeah. You know, there were, and so I think, the more you put yourself, if you're willing to put it yourself in that situation where you're challenged or where, you know, you are going to be uncomfortable, mm. you know, where all your negative thoughts will come up, but then you train yourself to, you know, how you approach them yeah. or you look at it, you know, a different way. And then you start to see, you know, signs of how it, it's impa impacting your, your mindset, your psyche, your health. You know, everything.